Okay. This should totally work this time. Like I said, like, OBS really doesn't like my shitty, cheapy headphones, and so I have to, like, swap them out for, like, my good, nice, super expensive Sennheisers. I don't know. OBS is high maintenance. It only likes, like, the nice gamer headset headphone mic thing. Anyway, let's do this. So while I'm logging in, just know that if you're watching the stream that I like don't monitor chat or anything. <laughs> I'm too lazy. I'm just like playing the game and talking. So if you're typing shit in the chat, like like feel free. I mean, I'll read it later. Not that I expect anybody to watch this, but just in case. Alright, woo! I'm back. Alright. And I've totally forgotten what I need to do. Okay. Apparently I'm meeting up with somebody at a barn. Uh, before I do that, let me change this to MPC. Just so I can see the NPC chat and not random zone chat that I don't really give a shit about right now. Stay back, vampire. I'll stick you with this sword. I mean it. Calm down, Shapeskin. Your courage is commendable, but highly misplaced. We are here to help. And how am I supposed to trust you? This one could have overpowered you at any time. Now stand down, or Adusa will stick that sword where the bright moons never shine. What? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Sit down or something. Even though you're much nicer, she was much nicer than me, I would have just, you know, robbed him. Mortals, show a little concern, and this is the thanks you get. And where is the constable? Why isn't he here? But that is a mystery for another time. The survivors are our priority. Still, these vampires, they are most unusual. Okay, I already met this character, actually, in another quest. So I guess I did them in the wrong order, because she's acting like she doesn't know me, even though we've done an entire quest line together. And it's also really fucking obvious that they're a vampire, because you can tell by the, the red eyes and the screwed up skin. So, but uh, whatever. I'll ask the question anyway. That is what I am, yes? Surely you have learned by now that not every vampire is a monster. Adusa hopes that this doesn't make you uncomfortable. We still have survivors that need our assistance. Yeah, no, I don't care. Especially because I'm a werewolf. Such precision. Such coordination. Rarely have I seen vampires behave like an army instead of raiders. This wasn't an incursion. It was an occupation. We must work quickly. It won't take long for the enemy to discover our presence. Okay, and because I'm using my good fancy, nice, um, gamer headset, um, the microphone on it is really sensitive, so I actually adjusted the audio to, like, turn it down so you don't hear me, like, swallowing and <laughs> doing God knows what in audio. Unfortunately, it's still a little too good, and when I, like, I, I have the option of, like, lifting it up, uh, so I can mute. And you sometimes you hear like the faint click of me like going on mute, but oh well. Don't worry about it. It's just me going on mute. You stay here and guard these townsfolk. I'll go search for more survivors. No, no. Reverse that. Better for you to search and the Dusa to stay here. Watch for signs of the constable. I will try to learn more about our enemy while you are gone. I really should probably put up another machine. I have, like, a computer room in my house. So I really should have, like, another machine where I'm monitoring 
the chat and the stream on Twitch. I'm I'm not doing that because I'm a lazy ass. Um, so just know if you're watching, it's like I'm not really paying attention to chat. But but I'll I'll get my shit together and do that at some other date. You ask many questions, like a young one who has eaten too much moon sugar. Constable Madred is a friend, a trusted contact. We have worked together in the past. And speaking of work, don't you have some survivors to save? Yeah, I, I guess. Bye. And who are you? Like... I'm not sure how we managed to survive. It was so horrible. But since we're still alive, maybe there's some hope left in Moira after all. Maybe there are others out there. Mm-hmm. I don't... I don't know. It all happened so quickly. I came back from gathering wood, and the town was under attack. A few of us ran and hid in the barn. I saw so many of my friends. Some changed. Some were just torn apart. What? Oh, the others. If anyone else was able to escape those terrible claws, fangs... I don't know. Maybe in some of the ruined houses. But why they haven't come to search the barn yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doom and gloom. Oh, hey! Alright. I, I... Shitty at picking locks. Fuck! Yay! And if there is anybody watching this, it would be really helpful if in the chat or, I don't know, message me or whatever, if this stream is choppy. Because I've noticed that the audio is fine, but the video is choppy. And since I'm, you know, a noob Twitch user, I don't get the snazzy, you get to pick your own video quality option. Because I'm not a Twitch partner yet. I don't, I don't rate. I'm not that important. So... Unfortunately, the stream quality might be a little shitty. I'm trying to, like, correct that over time, but it's going to take a bit. All right, missing townsfolk. All right, die. Ooh. Well, see, now, this is smart. Like, dude's all barricaded in. I mean, I would have fixed the door a little better, but at least he's trying to live. I know how to deal with you. Whoa, that's a bad... Come any closer and this goes straight into your heart. I'm perfectly safe right where I am. Thank you very much. I've got a sharp blade and plenty of food. I'm downright cozy. Those bloodsuckers turn the townsfolk into their feral pets. Absolutely depressing. Divines take them all. There are other survivors? Why didn't you say so? I'll follow you, but we need to be very careful. These creatures aren't like any vampires I ever read or heard stories about. They're like a divine's damned army. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is he going to walk on his own, or do I have to take him? Oh, looks like I have to take him. That's okay. Vampire or blood fiend, you will fall to Adusa's terribly swift blades. Oh, it's just you. Never mind, then. <laughs> okay, thanks for scaring the shit out of the peasant. Mm. 
Ooh. All right. Oh, shit. This one's advanced, so... Wow. This is probably going to be really bad. Shit. God damn it. All right, hold on. Alright, I'm determined to fucking get this box. Oh, shit, it's always down to one. Makes me nuts. Yay! The thing that kills me about opening these boxes in, in uh, Elder Scrolls Online is that in Skyrim and the other like um, single-player Elder Scrolls games, I kicked ass at opening <laughs> the box. Like, I would get it on the first try, like, every time. And then in Online, it's like, I can, I can barely get through simple. I've obviously lost my edge. Oh, my live streams, I, I actually don't sit around and read the books. When I'm playing on my own, I read all the things because I like books. I'm a huge bibliophile, so I will literally sit around and read through the game as opposed to really playing it for hours. Oh, a violent death. Uh, go figure. Okay, it was too late for that one. That's okay. I'm just going to continue robbing you, bro. It's okay. It's not like he needs it anymore. Oh. Actually... No, oh, that's light armor. I'm sticking to heavy. I know you can, like, mix and match. Oh, I already know baked apples. Alright, fine. I mm, already know that racial style. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get to town soon to research stuff, but oh well. I'll get to that eventually. Um. Hmm. I have no food. That's not good. Nope. Save me. Please, I'll join your army. Really, I will. Just don't kill me. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Thank the Divines. They just marched into town like they owned the place. That cold, horrible woman. She whispered something to the soldier, and people began to change. The woman made a strange gesture, and townsfolk began turning into blood fiends. And she just walked away and let her companions... They were so fast, so strong. They, they started tearing people apart. Anyone who didn't change was attacked. Okay, come on. Other survivors? I did dare hope. Yeah, yeah. Let's get going. Come with me if you want to live. Um, okay. All right, that's enough. Uh. 
All right, food. Mmm, carrot cake. Delicious. Okay, just stay right there, cowering in fear. I just need to continue robbing you. Come on, let's have at it. I'd rather die fighting than get turned into one of your pitiful creatures. Well, that's a relief. I thought for sure you were going to kill me. I just wish you had gotten here in time to save my father. They called her Lorea. She demanded that we line up to receive her blessing. That's what she called it, her blessing. My father was one of the first to step forward and tell her what to do with her blessing. Yeah, I definitely did like these quests in the wrong order. Or they or they allow you to do quests in the wrong order. Because I already did the quest, the mainline quest, and, and I actually took... I already killed Lorea. So she was some kind of, you know, vampire, seductress, cliche chick, and, well, she's dead now. Of course. You're right. I know you're right. Lead the way. Uh oh. Oh, there she is. Well, you are gone. We had a few visitors. Nothing Adusa couldn't handle, of course. Yes, Adusa noticed. Fewer than I hoped, but more than I expected. Meanwhile, this one learned that the vampires let the commander here. He's up in the house, atop the hill. Moira's hope can never recover while he controls the town. Militant vampires require structure. Why is that so surprising? But we have more pressing matters. I will get the survivors out of town. You must deal with the vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta do all the work while you run away. S see if he has anything. You're really going out there? Yeah, him. yeah, I really am. See, the one thing about this game that I find really perplexing is that, um... Need to go here. Is that I had to install an add-on in order to have a mini-map. So, so the mini map you see on my screen that's in the lower right hand corner, like I actually had to install a, a third party add on to have that, which is the fact that that isn't default in the main game makes no fucking sense at all. I, I mean, you'd, you'd think that out of all the improvements they made in this game, and trust that they made a lot, I mean, the last time I played this game was in beta, and they've made a significant amount of improvements since then. All to the better. You'd you'd think that they would include a mini map, but but nah. But the thing about the add-on is that it often doesn't update or refresh, I should say, properly. So it'll have like the different quest points, but it won't be um. It won't update to the next set of quest points. 
and so it can be a little misleading. But whatevs, minimap. Ooh, a book. Oh, to serve and protect. Like I said, I'm I'm really uh oh, beautiful Liara. Uh, no, no, you're probably a goner. Like I said, I'm really tempted to like sit and read all the things, <laughs> but I won't. Oh, I'll just rob. Okay, time to go read some more. <laughs> and now I'm just looking for like books that give me a skill up, pretty much. Oh. Mm, orders. Conquer all the things. Peace out, Lady Liara. And I do find that I have to use the custom waypoint <laughs> option all the time or else I get sidetracked really easily. Because I miss like, ooh, uh, some ore, and ooh, a book, or ooh, what's that interesting thing over there? And I've completely lost track of what the fuck I was supposed to be doing, so this kind of keeps me on track. Ah, by the look on your face... Adusa assumes you were successful? Yeah. The Empire Commander is dead, yes? Very dead. I mean, he was dead before. I mean, he was undead, but, you know. Maldred? That's the name of the... No. That unclawed traitor. Adusa only wishes she had been the one to end him. You did well, Fireclaw. Adusa will see that these people reach a safe haven. Then I have business of my own to attend to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, next character I create is gonna is gonna spec into medium armor only because it's like the sets for medium armor look really cool. Not that uh, that heavy armor or light armor looks like shit, but um, a lot of you know what I like aesthetically is seems to be a medium, so I need to get on that. There is something sinister going on in Ribbon Spire, Five Claw. Keep your wits about you and stay fragrant. What you saw here is only the beginning. Adusa will take the survivors to Horfrost Downs. They should be safe enough there. Pardon, but this one is still coming to grips with how fast the blood fiends were created and with the constable's betrayal. Yes, word of what happened here must be carried to my master, Count Verandis. There is much work to be done. Okay, yeah, yeah. Typically, a vampire degenerates over time, eventually withering into a mindless blood fiend. The process we observed in Moira's Hope was quite the opposite. The blood curse appeared to change its victims into blood fiends almost immediately. Mm. 
Alright, bye. Yay, skill point. Oh, two skill points. I must have forgot to use one. Well, I need Magicka for sure. And one more in health. Um... Yeah, I'll deal with that later. First thing first is need to get that book Varieties of Deidre. And I still absolutely love that like these lore books that you pick up are from the the single player games. So the Varieties of Deidre, I know because I <laughs> part 1 and 2 and whatever I know because I read them were in the the single player game. And I liked that they have them in online. I don't feel like fighting random spiders right now. Try to go around. Uh, where's a book? Oh, shit. No. Oh, random troll. Oh, and a box. All right, now you gotta die. Okay, I've still got input lag, but I think I'm just going to have to deal with it. It's not as bad as it was in prior live streams. I'm more concerned that the um, video quality on the stream is good, which I'm not convinced it is. But anyway. Oh, simple. I can probably do this. Or not. Yay! Oh, shit. Full inventory. Yeah, I need to, like, head to the... Head to town and sell stuff and put stuff in the bank. The varieties of Deidre. And for the record, my favorite, 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 what is, that's not even a word, favorite, um, Daedra is actually a toss-up between, uh, Shia Gorath. Shia Gorath is, is my life coach. And, um, my absolute favorite is Sanguine. Oh, this person's gonna, gonna go for it. All right. Wow, this person's really doesn't even need my help. Probably gonna be in their way. Surely I'll go and shoot stuff from a distance. And the thing, like I said this before, but I absolutely love it and I wish all fucking MMOs would do this. 
is that when you fight and help out and heal folks, everybody gets credit. And I remember the first MMO I played where they did the everybody gets credit mechanic properly um, was Tableau Rasa, which is <laughs> defunct game. But, but it was fun because you can help people out. You didn't have to like beg to, oh, please let me join your group or any bullshit. Nobody got pissed at you for jumping in on the game. Everybody wins. We sometimes admire our prey and secretly applaud when it cheats our snares. Wow. Uh-oh. Yay! And now... <laughs> I've got to get rid of things, because... I have way too much... And boom! Everybody gets to take from the chest. Oh. And everybody who needs it gets the achievement, and there's no nonsense. Absolutely wonderful game mechanic that I wish everybody would adopt. Alright. I need to head back to town, like, I mean, or city, really. Alrighty, I have things to launder <laughs> or fence, rather. Have you heard about the daggers? They killed an entire flock of harpies with their bare hands. Shit, where am I going? No, damn it. And no, I'm not in a guild in this game. I rarely actually ever join guilds. I'd rather just make friends with folks and then team up with them when they're online. Usually when I make a guild it's it's usually for myself. So I can have, you know, a guild bank that I put my multiple alts on. Anything. 
Okay, and when I rob, I only take things at at a hundred bucks or a hundred gold or above. If that shit's like twenty gold, I don't even bother. It's like not worth my time. And I do launder. Uh, right now, I'm only really bothering with um, stuff for blacksmithing, mainly, and um, enchantment. Ariel knows I'm here. I can't wait until I can do the Daedric style because that's my absolute favorite from the main games. I'm really, really fucking far away from doing a Daedric style armor, but one day, one day, I'll, I'll have it. Alright, let's see what I got. I got... Uh, and I'm keeping it to dual wield on this character, dual wield and bow. Even though there's some really, really neat uh, two-handed uh, weapons that you get. Um, but dual wielding is kind of my thing. Well, it's actually, it's a lot my thing. It's an interesting looking shield, but I'm not... Uh, into that right now. Oh, crap. Did I just... Yeah, I did. I really need new gauntlets, and I have not run into a quest... I mean, there's these. Actually, that's way better than what I have right now. Just gonna have to re-dye my stuff, but that's fine. I would like something even better than those, but I, I haven't gotten any good gauntlets in uh, Crestly Roared or um, a drop, which is kind of annoying. Actually, I don't want to go that way. I want to leave via the other entrance. So, I don't know if anybody's watching. Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably talking to myself. But if you are, just know that I'm not... I um, actually don't have the my Twitch channel up while I'm streaming this. Oh. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to give that guy something. Yeah, I got it. Pointing is rude. Hello, friend. Do you need directions to the inn? <laughs> no, but, you know, there's that behind your... Never mind. Well, your journey has been successful. Stenric blood certainly runs through my veins. Marcel Stenric? That was my great-grandmother's name. Is that really her sword? I grew up listening to stories of Dame Marcel's exploits. She was quite the warrior, if you believe the tales. This is amazing. Our family used to be much more prominent back in my great-grandmother's day. Maybe her sword will turn our fortunes around. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, okay, whatever. Thank you for the gold. Treasure Dame Marcel's sword. 
Perhaps it will encourage me to take up a life of honor and adventure. Uh, sure, why not? Just what my parents told me. I never met my great grandmother. Dame Marcel was an honored knight in the service of House Dora. I remember one story set during the time of the great feud between the Tamriths and the Dorels. In the story, Doral's son Lanciot was kidnapped on the road to North Point by a dozen of Tamrith's most ruthless warriors. And despite the odds, Dame Marcel never hesitated. She swooped in with this very sword and rescued Lanciot. I... Okay, done. Anyway, as I was saying before, it's like I'm not, um, oops, I'm not like monitoring chat or anything right now so if you're <laughs> talking to me or leaving me messages i'm not seeing them right now i'm i'm hoping that the um frame rate in this playthrough is better than the last one it's kind of funny because the first couple i did were the frame rate was fine and then the last one i did that was really a long playthrough it was about it was about an hour and a half is absolutely shitty like the audio is fine but the video is crap so i'm hoping that I fixed it this time, but no promises. Um, oh, actually, I need to upgrade my horse. something to ride yay 10% <laughs> slowly but surely getting a faster well. mount Research. Um, I'm not gonna do it on a great sword. Enchantment effect. So, I'll go with that. Uh, where is the vendor, dude? There you are. My stock isn't what it used to be.
Okay. And if you see me uh, keep stuff, it's because I can't make up my damn mind. I'm a hoarder when it comes to uh, RPGs. I'd rather like keep it in my inventory or in my bank for eternity rather than um rather than sell it. Okay, I have a lesser glyph of magicka that's for armor, but Pretty sure everything's giving me health or stamina. Yeah. My stock isn't worried. My brother joined that bad man cult. Word is they're all dead now. Okay. I liked my brother much. Oh, so this favor for the queen is like gonna take me elsewhere, which is why I haven't really done it yet. Oh, Mage's Guild. Okay, fine. Well, actually, before I do that. Alright, I still have, like, these sky shards to get. Um, but I guess I'll do this Mage's Guild quest first. Yeah, my trusty steed. Moving at 10%. And actually, I'm going to swing by the die station real quick. It's another cool thing about this game is that they don't... You don't have to spin gold or do something ridiculous to just die your armor. Because nothing is more annoying than looking like this hobo the clown... Like, you have, like, nice armor on, but it's all mix-matched color. That's just incredibly annoying. And a lot of games just do that. While other games try to be at least be smart about it. Like, blend the color to, like, your chest armor, or, or let you buy dyes. But I like how uh, Elder Scrolls Online does it best. Oh, what's this? Alright, nothing to steal there. Oh. And much like the main game, too, like, you can look into cabinets and boxes and shit, but as long as you don't take it, <laughs> you can't get busted for stealing. So you can just snoop around people's shit first. Oh, hmm. Well, let's see if she has a back door first. So I'm not, like, being real obvious, trying to break through her front door. Well, no, yeah, she only has... Okay. She only has a front door. Which means I'll have to sneaky sneak about getting in here.
Oh, yeah. Oh, I already know that recipe. Okay, honestly, I forgot what this quest was about. <laughs> I'm like, sup? Oh yeah, that's right. I ran into, like, this talking tree. So, I need to go here. Which means I need to go to the... Horfast. See, this person has, like, the horse I want. I don't know if that's Imperial horse or what, but... I just... I, I mean, I know people have, like, the glowy, you know, ghost horses that are, you know, and on fire and shit like that, but I just want, like, a nice, you know, black beauty-looking horse. If it'd be easier going around the other way, probably. Oh, that was cool. Oh, this person has like a white fox mount. That's obviously the wrong fucking way. Mm. Okay, obviously... wasn't the right way. And I totally forgot how I got to the, um... Oh, wait! Hold on. It's a box up there. Beep. Yay, and it's simple. Boom. Another empty soul gem. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it.
Ah, here we go. At least I hope this is the right way. Yeah, it is. I totally recognize this. Yeah, and that was the talking tree. Oh, sorry. Sapling. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. I'll get to the tree spirit eventually. I gotta mine all the things. You've returned. I did not expect this. Dare I hope, though? Do you know the means by which I might be released? Then delay no longer. Any thirst I once felt for life has long since faded. All I seek now is the peace of death. Though I want to despise the mage for what he did, I feel more pity than hate. I hope this gives him release as well. I love how everybody assumes that there's peace beyond death. I mean, you're kind of guessing. <laughs> there could maybe not be peace beyond death. Yay. Okay. I have a theory that this sapling is probably the, the mage that caused all this crap, but I guess I'll find out in a bit. Oh, yeah it is. I, I remember now. I, I remember it all. Oh, God, what a cursed thing did I do? The spell! It trapped me in the tree's form. It was a nightmare. Such was the price of my lust for longevity. But now, now I am released. Yep. Being trapped in the tree was a fate worse than any death I can imagine. Though I once did all I could to extend my life, I am now grateful to be granted the peace of death. If you were the one responsible for releasing me, then I thank you. Thanks. Bye. Alright. Wow. This is... Hmm. Poison damage. For the record, I actually like having um, two swords <laughs> or a sword and a dagger aesthetically, but, you know, I realize I need to pick the weapon with the best stats for now. Okay, I've done all the things. So now I can go around and get those shards I need. So there's one up here.
It's a quest. Hey, what's up? Brothers and sisters bring the dead to rest. Dark days are upon us, friend. Our case foes spread like the Yeah, yeah, everything's bad. Yes. The legacy of our case saints, imbued with his power. Our sacred mission is to find these relics and use them to stem the undead tide. Three knights of RK obey my commands. I sent them out to the locations described in our order scrolls, but none have returned. Would you try to find them and bring back the holy relics? Sure, why not? Find my knights and bring back RK's relics. There are only hope now against the dead tide. Each knight went to a different site rumored to contain a relic. Mathion went to Flyleaf Catacombs, Edway to Sanguine Barrows, and Cecibel to Lacrata Ruins. Alright, bye bye. Words. Mm, let's see if you have anything worth robbing. Not really. Okay. Actually, now is a good time and place to stop. So hopefully this live stream went better than the last one in terms of um, quality of the video. But I guess I'll find out in a bit. So peace out.